Hello everyone and welcome back to The Sinking City. Right, so we're continuing with the main cases, this time it's fathers and sons. Now we met Fred, the agent in the Esoteric Order of Dagon. Apparently he knows where Professor Harriet Doe is being kept, but he's not going to tell me until he gets smuggled out of the city, or at least it gets arranged. So we need to find out about the smugglers, which is why I'm here at the Oakmont Chronicle to do a little bit of research. And I suppose it's been a while since I've been here, maybe I need to finish off that interview? Let's have a chat. Stay safe. Or not. Okay, archives it is, I guess. <laughs> sure, why not? Uh, so here we are, yeah, Fred's demand. So, uh, he believes that the smugglers communicate secretly using advertisements for Salvation Harbor. Uh, da -da 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 advertisements, there you go. After the flood. <laughs> Yeah, apparently that works. Okay, the time has come to send Toothless Bob on his final journey. This time to the Seven Oaks Bar at the crossroad of Calmshaw Street and Salvation Road in Western Salvation Harbour. So we're heading over there. Easy enough. Toothless Bob's wake. All right. So. Calmshaw Street. Da, 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 da. Oh, there it is. Oh, I see. It's this one. Salvation Road. Oh. Oh, that's perfect. It's exactly where I can fast travel to. All right, well, that's going to be easy enough. Sweet, let's get over there. Okay. Right. <laughs> there it is, right in front of me. That's perfect. Seven Oaks, established in 1685. Is that shit been up there since that long? Probably not. Anyway, right. Uh, how do we get in? Over there. Right. Ah, uh, I guess let's talk to the bartender. Yeah, okay, we, I'm looking to leave. A uh, little bird told me there are people in Oakmont who can help me leave town. Maybe, maybe not. What makes you think I know anything? Um, uh, yeah. I've heard they're having a wake for Toothless Bob here. That may be true, but I don't know you from Adam. Prove you ain't some gumshoe. Right, uh, well, do I have to do you a favor? Let's say this one first. Come on, you can trust me. Ask Mr. Throgmorton. He can vouch for me. <laughs> if you think I'll trust you just because you were doing business with that ape, then you've got another thing coming. But you're still alive. I am. That means you've got something going for you. Yeah, okay. life. Okay. What about a little favor? Nothing fancy, don't worry. Mm. I expected a package to be delivered ages ago, but the courier still hasn't shown. Find out what's taken him so long. Here's the address. Got it. One more thing. If you don't find him, bring the package back, will ya? It's a crate full of the water of life if you <laughs> catch my drift. I think I do. Yeah. Alright. Alcohol of some description. Uh, a favour for the bartender then. Right, so where are we heading? Not too far away. Grimhaven Bay. Western Grimhaven Bay. Okay. So... Levi Coffin Avenue, I've heard that one before. Not far from the crossroad with Marsh Avenue. Okay. Levi Coffin Avenue... No, 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 no. It's somewhere around this sort of area. Okay, so let's just put it over there and then we'll have a look around the area. Sweet, okay. Uh, I actually might take a boat. Because why not? I feel like taking a boat. Let's just have a little look around though. Looks like this is the uh, the same kind of design as the one that's in Grimhaven Bay. So we got the one room up here. No Innsmouth this time. Ooh. Ah, oh, if only I could grab them. Although I do have a new toy, don't I? Yes. I have a shotgun. Looking forward to using this. What the hell is all this? I think I may have stumbled into some sort of side quest, like halfway through it, you know? Right. <laughs> I wonder what I did with that indecent picture that I picked up. Oh, hello. It's you. The man who made the boss blow a gasket. <laughs> Caleb never thought a newcomer would make him look such a fool to Mr. Throgmorton. It's not my fault you guys didn't check the warehouse. <laughs> uh, I know. No hard feelings, pal. Impressive work finding the killer. Thank you. Uh, maybe you can help me with another one. The name's Sam Shaw. Take your drink and let's talk. Didn't I hear something about a prohibition? Uh, of course. 
This place merely sells juice. <laughs> Old fermented grape juice. Right. <laughs> A tonic for your health. Yes, of course. So, how about that business? Alright, I guess I'm interested, but I, I don't work for free. We can talk, but I don't work for free. Uh, I know, I know. Still, the task is simple, so I can't offer a lot. I just need a few photos of crime scenes. What do you say? Oh, huh, okay. I'm actually up for that. I wanted to use the camera more in the past. Maybe this is the side quest to do it. Tell me where to find the bodies. Here are three file cards with names and addresses. Bring me photos of the victims, then I can start to get this moving again. I'll be waiting upstairs for those three photos. Oh, okay. Please, try to be discreet in this matter. Oh, so that table that I saw upstairs, that was maybe for this side quest? Yeah. Manor crime scene, fishing house crime scene, and a rich apartment crime scene. Alright, well, I'll get on with that at some point. But right now, just focusing on the main mission, the main case. So yeah, really, I'm, uh, I'm heading east, I'm heading over there. This one, eh? Ooh. Right, well, I, I suppose really I want to find a boat. Would there be a clear way through? Uh, yeah, I can get to Sunset Avenue, no problem. Well, hopefully with less problems than that shark, anyway. Come on, Cyclops 2, don't give out now, you're nearly there. <laughs> hopefully that outboard motor never runs out of fuel or anything, you know? Oh, here we go. Infe oh, come on, really? Did I have to arrive in the infested area? Shit. Well, not too far to go, right? I've done this before, and I've got this new toy to defend myself with, so... Go on, then. Now let's grab some stuff while we're here, because why not? Oh, shit, okay. Oh, good. God. Right. Hopefully there's a, a good way out of here. Oh, look at that chef. Whoa. Uh... I suppose I can climb that barricade, can I? Maybe this one? Alright, yep. That's it. There you go. Alright. I think I'm safe. I'm pretty sure they can't climb. Uh, okay, well, uh... It... This could be it, I suppose, right? Well, this is Levi Coffin Avenue. It's not far from the crossroads, right? So, okay. Okay, well, yeah, it's definitely the courier's final destination. But why? What happened to him? Oh, let's see. He's not stuffed in the locker. Anyone down there? Well, there's something. Left by something heavy with wheels. Okay. Anything else? Wait a minute. Well, we got blood, but there's a fucking skeleton over there. The blood's almost dry. Is that him? <laughs> I've seen ashes like this before. Well, that's one way to get rid of a corpse. Right, okay. I think I might be getting used to the madness around here, because my sanity didn't really go down too much because of that. What's this? Okay. Oh, we're looking at the cap. Empty, but reeks of gasoline. Right. Well, so they got rid of the body. Yeah, yeah, okay. Now that's making sense. Oh? Did I hear something? Did I see something around it yet? The edge of the screen, that's right. Ah. Ah, oh, here we go. Another wall that isn't a wall. <laughs> There's actually quite a disturbing amount of walls that aren't walls in this city. Oh, this must be it, right? <laughs> yep, it's a crate of whiskey. I thought it was going to be something like that. Right, can't carry anymore. Right, shut... Oh, was that retrocognition? Just a, just a sec. Let me just see. Okay, so it's three gunpowder to make any more shells. That's fair enough, I suppose. That kind of makes sense. How are we doing on skills as well? Oh my god, I've got three knowledge points. What the hell? 
Uh, hmm. Load two additional shells into the shotgun. Why not? Yeah, go on. <laughs> Can't hurt, right? Definitely not. Hmm, six more revolver rounds. Why not? The skills in this game are kind of inconsequential to me, really. Like, I, I think the combat would be more or less the same whether I got them or not. And that doesn't sound good. Okay, it's really not good. I'm sorry. I have to take this whiskey. <laughs> I'll go back in time in a moment. Right, yep. Is it just you two? I think it's just those. Right, let's go in here. So, let's see. We've got something here. You're done, kid. Someone talks to the cops behind my back. That was a wheelchair? History. Get him, boys. Right. Well, that explains the uh, the marks on the floor. Jurok! Whose idea was it to hide the crates in such a stupid way? <laughs> and this one? No mercy, boys. He's been asking for this. And I suppose this is where it's going to end. Get rid of him. Leave nothing but ashes. Understood? Time to figure this out. Okay, well, it starts with him trying to get through the wall, I suppose. Jurok! Whose idea was it to hide the crates in such a stupid way? And then here comes Wheels You're with his done, friends. Kid. No mercy, boys. And they finish He's him off. Get rid of him. Leave nothing but ashes. Understood? Yes. Someone was looking for a crate here and was brutally killed. The crew that did it were headed up by a guy in a wheelchair. Right. Murder in the basement. And key evidence. Is that all evidence collected as well? That's usually when you get the experience. That's right. Okay. Plus, we got the whiskey. So, win-win. Okay. Nothing else around here? No? What about up here? Oh, we got something. Well, <laughs> maybe we do. I'm not sure. Ah, right. Well, at least there's some cupboards to rifle through. Yeah. It's nice to get some extra stuff. Oh, there you are. Oh. <laughs> you see, I, I can't even make any more with them. Oh, what's this? Oh, another trap. But again, yeah, I can't carry any more. Damn. Yeah, maybe I should just keep getting the skills that allow me to carry more. Anyway, yeah, we got what we came for. I think we understand what's going on now, don't we? So, let's head back to the Seven Oaks and let the bartender know what happened to his courier. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll take that boat instead. Yes, uh, well, I brought your crate. Here's your water of life. Shh, keep it down, pal. Not too shabby, newcomer. You deserve a reward for this. All right. And I found your courier, too. <sighs> well, I found your courier. I hate to break it to you, but he's dead. Someone didn't like him talking to the cops, and, well, they made it pretty savage. Well, okay, I'm dead. He might think I was in on it. He? Yeah. Who's he? The boss. Who's the boss? <sighs> Can I help somehow? Here's the compassionate side of me again. Is there... Anything I can do to help? Hey, I'll handle it. Mm. But take my advice. The boss is the only man who can arrange a bon voyage. Right. Don't do a smuggling anything email. to make him unhappy. <laughs> there, a newcomer. Here's the note with your instructions. Beyond that, you're on your own. Okay, thanks. Right, well, our business is done. Bye. So, uh... Oh, I got some cartridges out of it. Mine Palace Clue, Bartender's Instructions, so... The bartender is instructing me to go to Southern Salvation Harbor, Windmill Avenue between Octopus and Avenue, and Skipper Road. Not too far away, then. Let's skip a Road. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's see. Oh, right. Well, right. Somewhere over here, then. 
Yeah, Octopus Avenue, Skipper Road, Wimmer Avenue. It's got to be there. That's where we're going. And again, I think I'll be taking the boat. Or, uh, no, I'll be running through the streets, I guess. I'll pass by the Randall Glassworks. Somewhere around here? Let's look for that symbol. Ah, well, that's not what I was after, but still. <laughs> oh, you know what? I guess I could make one more, couldn't I? There you go. Carry a few more of those now, of course, so there you are. Oh, ah, here it is. What do you do when you see a dog? Pet it or kick it away? This feels like a test. Kill it because the dog's rabid. Wow, okay. Yeah, let's go with that, because I'm a psycho. I'd kill it because the dog's rabid. Right you are. Alright. You're a new one, huh? Commodos. Okay. Uh I don't particularly trust you guys. This is a bit shady. It, more than a bit shady, really, but maybe I shouldn't say that. No offense. But I'm not keen on going anywhere with you guys. Just point the way to your boss and I'll be alright. That ain't happening, pal. No going with us willingly or by force. Alright. I'm fine with either. Is that right? I... <laughs> I'll resist as I'm, I, I'm holding a hand grenade right now, aren't I? I guess lead the way. Just take me to your boss. Yeah, I, I don't need this right now, you know. Okay. <laughs> right, so where are we going? Somewhere local? Somewhere at the edge of the city? Outside of the city, maybe. Right. Well, let's see. Smuggler's Hideout is there. <laughs> they kept that a fucking secret, didn't they? Uh, right. Hello. Who are you? And what the drug do you want? Let's be quick about it, kid. I don't have the whole damn day. Uh, well, I'm uh, a private eye. Let's just say uh, I'm a private detective and leave it at that. <laughs> Cocky, ain't you? A little bit. So be it, kid. I have a pretty good idea who you might be. You were working for Throgmorton, right? Correct. So, what do you want? I want to smuggle a man out of the city. Yeah, a lot of people want to leave Oakmont, kid. <laughs> Few ever succeed. It won't be easy. And, like everything in life that's worthwhile, <laughs> it won't be cheap. So what do you want, bullets? Uh, so, what's it gonna cost me? Uh, normally, I wouldn't do drock for a newcomer. But you're doing business with that old ape lover, Throgmorton. I think that's interesting. Mm. That tells me you're worth something, kid. Now... I have a job needs doing, but it needs to stay between the two of us. Okay. Uh, let's just sort of go along with this plan. I don't know, maybe I just like the guy. Nice suit. <sighs> Guess I have no choice. So, what do I need to do? First things first. My name's Brutus Carpenter. Oh! Rightful head of the Carpenter family. Second thing. Someone tried to kill me a week ago. <laughs> I can't think why. You're not asking me to track them down and kill them, are you? No, kid. I've got hatchet men if I need them. I believe you. And I don't want to kill them anyway. I just want to know who was gunning for me and why. All right. Yeah, I know how it sounds. But after I almost died, I realized that being a hard case isn't the only option. I want to try to do things differently. You did burn that courier, right? You're the same guy? <laughs> okay, still a bit of a hard case, but um, just, yeah, tell me how it happened. All right, color me interested. How did this all happen? I woke up in the crematorium inside a rolled up carpet. Okay. I had this tag on my toe like some cadaver. And I was covered in this weird rancid slime. Lovely. I managed to get myself out of there. But what I saw once I got home 
Made me think I had a screw loose. And? What did you see? Me, kid. Some palooka wearing my face. And walking out my front door like all was well with the world. It's mirrors, mirrors again. So I decided to get out and hole up here. Gathered a small company and pulled myself together. All right. Uh, well, yeah, let's just go through all three of these, I suppose. What was your last memory before the crematorium? I can remember clearly a dinner I had a week before the incident. After that, only bits and pieces. I remember writing something in my diary. I don't recall what, except it was important. Those notes could tell us how it all started. And I suppose that diary is still in your manor. Exactly, kid. In a strong box in my room. You have my permission to crack it if it's necessary. I'll write you the address. And that's fine. I think I've been around the outskirts of it. It's right across from Throgmorton's, isn't it? Yeah. Um, hmm. You must have tried to do something about this imposter already. Of course I did, kid. I wouldn't be asking for your help if this was just a walk in the park. My people said they killed that other me. It didn't change a thing. I guess they got the wrong guy. Hmm. So, any suspects? Any thoughts on who'd want to do this to you? Yeah, it must be someone close to me, so I can't trust anyone. I haven't even contacted my son Graham. Normally I'd get him to solve this. I'm vulnerable now. I can't risk exposing myself. Another good reason to bring in an independent contractor. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'll call myself that. So where would I find the city's crematorium? Ah, uh, of course you don't know. You're a newcomer, after all. Here's the address. Uh, well, yeah, understood. I got it. Yeah, what's up with this? It appears you're quite capable of standing without aid. So why the wheelchair? Does your curiosity always beat out your courtesy? Usually, yeah. I'll tell you if it makes you happy. I'm old. Some days I feel tired. This wheelchair, unlike many people, has never crossed me. <laughs> so I know I can count on it if I need to. Right, sure. You mentioned your son, Graham. Mm. Can you tell me more about him? Graham? Why would you care? He has nothing to do with this. You sound pretty sure about that. Of course. Graham is too honest. And since the end of the war, he turned into a real bleeding heart. It's become a bit of a headache, actually. Of course, we've had our differences. Especially about the family business. But he would never hurt a fly. Let alone me. Okay, well that's all the information we can gather at the moment. Goodbye. Interesting. Okay, can I do anything with the, uh, the Mind Palace clues that I've been given? I must have a few. Oh. Well, okay. Wow, do I want to make a snap judgment? I don't know too much about the guy, but, uh, let's say that maybe there's a second chance for Brutus. Yeah. That's all I got, though. <laughs> okay, so a few things, right? Um, so yeah, the testimony. So there's this crematorium situated in the graveyard on the corner of Wayne Road and Phillips Street in Southern Reed Heights. Well, let's just place this on the map. So, Southern Reed Heights. It's got to be around here somewhere, right? So... Southern Reed Heights, corner of Wayne Road and Phillips Street. Well, there's... Oh! Wayne Road and Phil... Oh, it's here! Well, this is probably it. So, there you are. Easy enough. And the other one... Well, that was his Carpenter Manor, wasn't it? And that's over there, I believe. That's the one. Okay, well, which one do we want to go to first? I think we want to investigate the crematorium, because I haven't been there before. So, uh, yeah. Is that it, then? I'd have broken all your bones, fella, if Papa Brute hadn't put you off limits. All right, okay, calm down. Just calm down. No need for violence. Exactly, tell your friend that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, they're shacking up here while the man has been taken over by an imposter, some weird look-alike. Interesting. I gotta give the game that. 
Maybe a lot of copy paste and stuff like that. A lot of traveling around, which can get a little bit aggravating sometimes if you don't have fast traveling. But interesting cases. And the uh, the investigating work Whoa. actually does feel rewarding. Yeah, top marks for quantity, but so much for quality. Even my gear's in better shape. For the meantime, at the very least, yeah. Let's just have this out, just in case. I don't really trust these guys yet. Nothing? Nothing at all? <laughs> uh, is that a body? Oh god. Oh, what's this? Ah! Oh we shit. Dump this garbage. Papa Brute will be here any minute. One of his hatchet men. That was the guy that was really aggressive upstairs, right? Fuck. Okay. Yeah, probably best that I don't piss these guys off. Gunpowder. Yeah, okay. Right, sure. Anyway, yes. Let's just get out of here. Let's go to the crematorium. Uh, where is the door out? Around here somewhere? Oh, damn. Oh, this... That was her blood. You like it here, newcomer? Well, get used to it. No one leaves Oakmont nowadays. Oh, I don't know, that's what I'm kind of here to change. This stain's almost gone. Gee, I wonder why. I can't imagine it ended well for whoever lost all this blood. No. No, it didn't. <laughs> okay, uh... We're really not too far away from the fast travel point. Or the Seven Oaks, either. It's literally just down the road. Alright. Yeah, some secret hideout. Oh well. Hmm. Yeah, I'll head for the crematorium first, then I want to check out the manor, because I want to see this imposter. So, thankfully we've already been to Reed Heights, we went to the university, so I can just nip over there. Yeah, I think gathering the fast travel points in this game is a must. So much back and forth. Right, well, it looks like this graveyard's gonna be at least partially submerged. <laughs> I'm not so sure about the crematorium itself. But, hmm, strictly speaking, he did say it was on the corner, right, of Wayne Road and Phillips Street, so... Could be that building there, or there somewhere. Let's just go to the corner. I guess I, yeah, I guess I probably could take the boat in through the graveyard. Yeah, there's a bit of a gap. <laughs> well, there's something over there. It looks like I might be able to uh, yeah, leave my boat here, so why not? Why not? Oakmont Crematorium, this is it. So this is where he woke up after getting stuffed in a rolled up carpet. With a tag on his toe, like a cadaver. Alright. Just in case. Yeah. Just want to know if everyone here is dead. Can I not? So, oh, here we go. <laughs> Having a little bit of trouble with that step. And unfortunately, this is one coffin I can't look in. Right. Wow. Crematorium, morgue, funeral hall, and an office. Uh, I guess let's start down in the crematorium, right? So, down here. Alright, well, this is the morgue, obviously. crematorium where he woke up, though, so... Oh, what's this? I locked up and left early today. The keys are on the table. P.S. This morning I heard wild beasts near the cemetery. Be careful. The door won't budge. Okay, we need to find the key, then. Uh, this table. <laughs> Which one? And are we gonna find anything in these? Probably not. I think, at this point, I'm just thinking of the evil within. Ah. That would be the crematorium down there, then. Okay. We got a table. 
Okay, personal duty, James Warren. Seven unidentified corpses. J Huss says Cole, V Black, Jack White. To be cremated urgently, apparently. Robert Taylor, James Warren on sick leave since last week. Okay. Oh, and underneath the book, the key! The crematorium keys. Aha, alright. Well, let's continue going down then. How's that? Ugh, what a stench. Is this that slime? Kinda looks like slime. And there's more of it down there. Come on, try it again. Oh, perfect. What? What is it? Whoever held this poker has got to be covered in slime. Yeah. Ah. Oh, blood. And judging by the dried blood and the dent on this shovel, it was used as a weapon. And yeah, that's probably why it's out of shape. Yeah. I suppose I can look in this, can I? No. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. What is this? Someone tried to wash the stain out, but it's still slimy. Ugh, it stinks. It's no ordinary stain, is it? Hold on, that sounds like retro cognition! There it is! Uh, well, alright. <laughs> okay, so there's one there. I see four. I do not see a fifth. Okay, well, this one? I need to get out of here before he comes round. Was that Brutus? It sounded like him. Ah, right, okay, yeah. So Brutus knocked him out. What by the angles is going on? Where... where am I? Right. So this is him waking up, knocking out his assailant, and then trying to get out of here. There's at least one more event upstairs, though. In the morgue sort of area, I guess? Yeah, over here. Ah, another one for you. Burn him first chance you get. It's urgent. Let's get a handle on what actually happened here. Okay. Well, presumably that's Brutus inside that rolled up carpet getting taken down. So that's number one. Ah, another one for you. Burn him first chance you get. It's urgent. Uh, and then, yeah, it just goes from the slime out, doesn't it? So this is where he wakes up. What by the angles is going on? Takes care on? of this guy. Uh, where, where am I? Tries to get his bearings and then escape. Uh, I need to get out of here before he comes round. Yes. This was brought in by some group who had to deal with the crematorium worker. So Brutus woke up, knocked the guy out cold, and escaped. Right. And now we can do something kind of definitive in the Mind Palace, it seems. So what is that? Okay, locate James Warren, the man who was on shift when Brutus woke up in the crematorium. He's suffering from a head injury and requires urgent treatment. Yeah, I think Brutus hit him pretty hard. So does that mean we're checking out the hospital again? If uh, he requires urgent treatment, there's probably going to be a record, right? Let's see, just going through all of these. That's it, yeah, we're looking at the archives. I think we'll be heading back to the hospital. So, that means we are going... Quite a long way away, actually. Over there, back to cover side. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. Anything else down here? Oh, finally. <laughs> a coffin we can look in. Just to find some more gunpowder. And yeah, there it is. Um, okay, well, let's just continue exploring. You never know. We might find some extra bits here and there. There's a couple more floors, right? Or at least one more. There's some offices upstairs. What was that? Come on, dude. <laughs> Fuck it, man. Let's go bowling. What? Okay. You really want that inscribed on, what, presumably an urn? I guess. What was that game I played? 
where uh, there was some sort of boss fight in a room that was like this. I played it a long time ago. It was first person. Oh, Black Rose? Black Rose. That sounds about right. Right. Offices? Uh, maybe. I guess we're not going up there. Hmm, alright. Shall I explore the cemetery? I guess I could. Although maybe I should heed the warning about the wild beasts. Let's see. Hmm. A little run through. Why not? What's that over there? Seems like an area we'll be coming back to later on. Maybe to go that way? I don't know. Anything? And oh, oh, there's something here. Don't dig filth inside. <laughs> Alright. Ah, can we just read all of them? Look, Mum, I want a tombstone. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I only wish to speak. Nice. Well, that's kind of neat, I suppose. Look at this one. Weeping Angel. Can you read these two? No? Just a few of them. Yeah. Okay. Right, I think if I head back this way, there was a, a jetty or a dock or something, right? Oh, it just goes back to that one. I think I passed another one, didn't I? Oh, that was the hole. That's right. Oh, okay, yeah, over here. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> sure. Everyone's got a wicked sense of humour, it seems, in this city. <laughs> alright, alright. Go on then. Down here. There's going to be a boat somewhere. And a guy who's looking after the boat. Thank you very much. Right. Now, oh, can I speak with you? Good day to you, kind sir. I hope that angels will be more merciful to you than they were with me. Oh, poor me. Well, what happened to you? Yeah, what happened? Did something happened. Some Danes robbed the graves in the cemetery. If I don't find the body soon, city council will find out. Right. But, but I have no idea where to start. I'll be fired. I know it. And it's the only job I'm fit for. That's what my mama said. <laughs> okay. Uh, why not? I'm going to sign up for this. I can help you. I'm quite experienced at finding people alive, usually. Oh, hmm. thank the angels, kind sir. I'll, I'll repay you. I will. You'll find the three robbed graves in the cemetery. I marked them. And you don't need to muck up your suit lugging bodies round, sir. I can do that. Right. Just find all three and tell me where they are. Please. That sounds like something I could perhaps do in between main cases. Yeah, alright. I don't know whether to investigate crime scenes, look at the letters, deal with the bodies. There's quite a lot of options here. Right. Yeah, let's get out of here. And let's head to the hospital. Then maybe afterwards... Carpenter Manor. Alrighty, the Hospital of St. Mary. Presumably the only hospital in the entirety of the city. There's the asylum, of course, but I haven't found another one. Right. Uh, sorry about not completing your uh, side case yet. I will get on with that. I actually do want to have a look at those houses. But, right, yes. Uh, let's have a look at the evidence. Which one is it? It's that one. Locate James Warren. Right. He's suffering from a head injury that requires urgent attention. Or urgent treatment, rather. So, <laughs> after the flood. Subject, he's a patient, department. Surgery? Maybe not morgue? That works! Okay. Apparently he's 35. He works in the crematorium, yep. Head trauma, concussion. Hospitalized. The second floor of this hospital. Bed rest recommended. So he's upstairs? Or maybe I passed him by when I was looking for the captain earlier. Let's go upstairs and check. <laughs> you weren't here before. You must be James Warren. You're James Warren, right? Yeah, that's me. What do you want? I'm sick, can't you see? 
But we he looks a lot better than most of the residents, to be honest. Conscious man to the crematorium. I need to know who those people were. What makes you think I'd know that? Well, I saw a man you were supposed to burn. Yeah, let's tell him that. You were supposed to cremate a man listed as Jack White. Mm, he urgently. escaped, and now he wants to know what's going on. So tell me, who paid you to burn a man alive? How do you know about White? I'm Talk just that him. good. I need names, Warren. Uh, I can't. <laughs> I say anything. <laughs> no, I'll send it out. They'll certainly kill you if they find out Jack White is still alive. I can arrange that. No, please. No, I, I didn't ask their names. They're priests, but priests. they ain't from St. Michael's Church, that's for sure. They were talking about the Lord of the Woods or something. Maybe from an old Oakmont church? Okay. That's all I know, I swear. Well, where can I find them? Where can I find this church? I don't know. Some things in this Borg are best left alone. Hmm. Okay. Some church. It's not much, but thanks. Wasn't that hard after all, was it? You got what you came for. Now leave me be. Well, I guess I should now. Goodbye. Bye. Oh. Alright, Warren's testimony. Does that lead me anywhere? One of Oakmont's churches. Warren says the men mentioned a Lord of the Woods. A Lord of the Woods. Okay. Not really too much to go on at the moment. Let's just click off of these. There we are. Um, okay, well maybe we're sort of at the end of the investigation on this side of things. Perhaps now we should head over to the Carpenter Manor, yeah? Have a look at this double. So, yeah, Southern Old Groves. Really not too far away, actually. Okay, so yeah, right outside the fast travel point. That's the Carpenter Manor. That's the Throgmorton Manor. So, there's a double in there somewhere. There you go. I, I knew we'd be back at some point. That's the way in. What we got here anyway? The carbons of... Oh, what? They offer food and medicine between 9am and 5pm each day. One piece per person. Don't mind if I do. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Alright. Again, I guess I'm not needy enough. Hey, hey you. No loitering. <laughs> Only workers are permitted on the premises. Right. Oh, I, uh... What's happening? You're handing out supplies for free. That seems awful charitable. Mr. Carpenter is a pillar of our community. Generously donating half of our supplies to the people of Oakmont in their time of need. Are you talking about Brutus? Or the imposter? Or his son? Or someone else? I need some supplies. I could use some supplies. If you can spare them, that is. Here. Take some medicine. Thank Thanks. you. You're welcome. I probably can't carry it, but... Right, what about work? I'm looking for work. I heard you might have a job. Sure. There's a sack of potatoes in the basement of the manor. Go get it. Bring it here, okay? Got it. Okay. Get a move on there. This basement is accessed from inside the Bye. manor? Well, let's see. Okay. We're in. Right, seems like a nice place. It's got its own little bar. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, yeah, that's for uh, Brutus, of course. But apparently he's not allowed to go in the basement where the potatoes are kept. Okay, alright, there's a couple of places to have a look at. And we got, well, a sack of potatoes? Probably not. Says Cole. <laughs> Don't want to make that mistake, really. Oh, there you go. Potatoes, right. <laughs> Cole and potatoes down here, that's all you got. Is that it? Are there any in there? So, where are the potatoes? Huh. Oh, okay, we need psychic vision to find the potatoes. <laughs> Follow the omen, right, yes. What happened to the potatoes? <laughs> I need help from the other side, from beyond the veil. That way? To the right? Or... Okay. Shall I be sneaking? I should be sneaking, I guess. Right. 
Did you put him in the fire? No. Through here? Oh, I see. That would be... what? The, is that the back door? Nice. Oh, oh, okay. Alright. Keep it going, keep it going. Ah, someone stole them, made a quick escape over the fence. Through here? Go on then. Oh shit, nope. <laughs> Back to this. There you are. Is it just those three? Let's see. Alright, continue following the omens. Who's that guy? Ah. Ah, please, friend. Don't take away my food. Nice head. Your food. This is stolen. This sack was meant to go to the hungry. We are the hungry, mister. Me, me and my family. I have five children to feed and nothing to feed them with. Hmm. Look, we'll starve to death without it. Have a heart. Yeah, all right. Free food is available. I don't get it. You can have food for free. The carpenters are distributing it. So why steal? They'd only give me one portion. Even though I told them that my wife and kids are too weak to get here. Right. Well, I don't know. I, I don't think I really want to take the sack. It's just a sack of potatoes. It's going to be free food anyway, right? I, I'll see what I can do. Don't worry. I I get it. Look, uh, hang on to the sack for now. I'll try to work something out for you. Okay? Oh, oh thank you, mister. K bless you. You're a lifesaver. Just don't go anywhere. I'll be back soon. Yeah, make sure you eat the potatoes and not the fish, okay? Definitely not the fish. Not after what I did to them. So, yeah, okay. Uh, I, I don't suppose I could just hop back over the fence here, could I? That'd be pretty good. No? Oh, maybe! Oh, that's weird. That's weird as fuck, but okay, cool. <laughs> Save me some time. Right, through here? Sure. Um, yeah. Wasn't there meant to be a diary and a strong box or something around here? I don't know if I can freely explore, really, but... Eh, no one said anything yet. Oh, hello. <laughs> Not so fast, newcomer. You ain't going upstairs unless the boss calls for you. And I don't see that happening. Well, the real boss wants me to go up there. I guess you two idiots have been fooled. Where is this boss, this imposter? Uh. Alright, so forget what I just said. Looks like this is all we can explore. Uh, I guess I found the potatoes. There's a... Uh, a minor issue. What? W what issue? Well, the sack was stolen by one of your workers. I tracked him down so he's not going anywhere, but... I'm trying to decide what to do with them. Damn thieves, I take them. I'm sure your boss would want to know about it, but I can see you're pretty busy. Tell you what, I'll go talk to him for you. Uh, you're right. I'm needed here. Huh. Vera, go see Mr. Graham Carpenter and report the incident. He's upstairs. So... Those two goons are out of the- Ah, oh, they're out of the way! Okay, fantastic! There you are. Bastards. Right, so, it's Graham we want to see. That, uh, okay, there's a note here. Don't let Papa Brute have the keys to the room. He's already lost them twice around the house. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, hello. Now we've got a tentacled friend to follow. Downstairs. Sure. <laughs> I don't suppose you're leading me to the boss, are you? Maybe you're leading me to the fireplace. No? In... Okay. Oh. Something in the fridge? What is that? Oh, the mana key! I guess you just keep a spare one in the fridge. I mean, why not? Is there anything here? Feels like there should be something half burnt in the fire. Anyway, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Back on track. There's a lot of distractions in this game.
Right. Uh, you're the imposter? Are you Brutus Carpenter? Brutus Carpenter, I presume. Yes, that's right. Did you bring me something to eat? I'm very hungry. Um, no, sorry. Ah, well, move on then. Hmm. Well, that's it. Okay, bye. Bye. Wait, hang on. Could you move? Because there's that strong box, and there's that diary. This is an unexpected turn of events. I'm on the verge of complete rejuvenation. Frankly, I didn't expect the flock of this age-old church to still exist, let alone assist on my quest. Perhaps this high priest merely feigns disgust at our family's proclivities, or perhaps he finally understands why I must prolong my existence. Regardless, all that remains is to meet with him. The cost is irrelevant, for out of all of Oakmont, I alone deserve eternal life. Tomorrow, tomorrow, the city will meet a new, young Brutus Carpenter. Who's reading the paper upside down. Huh, okay. So it didn't go perfectly. What's this? What does that say? This has been empty for years. <laughs> Seems someone believes eternal life comes in a bottle. Hmm. Okay. This? <laughs> what? Huh. Now, weren't you the one who called Robert an ape lover, Brutus? Hypocrite. Anything else in here? A new shotgun, perhaps? I still haven't actually tried my shotgun! I just really want to try my shotgun. Anyway, the Mind Palace. What are we saying? What are we doing? There we are. Find an old Oakmont church. Well, I got that idea from before the Mind Palace suggested it. But yeah, maybe some history books could shed light on which church it is. That's not going to help. Right. Yes. I should tell Graham Carpenter about the sack. I guess he's upstairs somewhere too. So there's a little bit of research to be done. History books. City Hall, maybe? Um, but yeah, Graham Carpenter. Where's Graham? It's the same sort of layout as the, uh, the Throgmortons across the way. So, here? Yeah. Are you Graham? There was a thief. <laughs> Mr. Carpenter? Yes, Graham Carpenter. Oh, right. How can I help? War your wound? workers is a thief. Stole a sack of potatoes. Oh. I do hope my people haven't taken it into their own hands. Not yet. Is, is there a way to solve this peacefully? The guy has a hungry family. That's why he stole. I won't punish a man for trying to feed his family. Why didn't he simply ask me for more food? Tell him he can keep what he stole. If he needs more, let him come back. It may be that he'll need medicine too. Can you give him this? It's not much, but it'll help. Nice. Yeah, very compassionate. Why so generous? Uh, no offense, but why such generosity all of a sudden? I mean, this distribution of supplies. I hope to set an example for the other influential families of Oakmont. Together we can make our city a better place. Besides, after the incident with the poisoned fish, people were left with nothing to eat. I had to take action to prevent starvation. Right, sorry about that. Yeah, thanks! <laughs> Thank That's interesting, actually. Maybe if I played that a little bit differently, there'd be another excuse he's doing this. But, uh... Anyway, I thought Brutus was the boss. I thought Brutus was the head of the Carpenter family. Something changed? Oh, uh, no, not at all. My father's still in charge. I've simply taken on some of his responsibilities. He's past his prime. Mm. It's more rest. Okay. Mask. Why do you wear it? A war wound. I prefer not to discuss it, if you don't mind. Fair enough. That's kind of what I assumed. Goodbye. Alright. Anything else around here? Destroy this mad brute. Alright. Uniform? Yeah, you don't get these for staying in your foxhole. And what's this? A letter from Boston. Dear Graham, I was very glad to receive your last letter, and I appreciate that you're worried about me. I want to thank you once more for saving my life in that battle. I'm sorry about what happened to your face. 
You could have just left me there dying, but you didn't. I'm forever in your debt, Jones. Nice guy. Oh, hang on. Wait. Something on the side here. What's this? Ah. Hmm. I've seen this face before. Is this it? Ah, this is it. Just trying to find the sweet spot so I can properly look at it. Oh, wait. Paris, December 1918. Paris, December 1918. Right after the guns stopped firing. Oh. And something else? Oh, it's this. Ah! Forgive oh. me, Father. For I have sinned. Well, this looks a little bit odd. Okay. Wouldn't happen to be this weird church that I'm going to be looking at, right? Hmm. Was that it? All evidence collected. Right, I don't suppose we can just chat with the guy again, can we? Something wrong. Possibly. But I can't be certain yet. Anyway, yeah, we got what we came for. Hmm. Graham's motivated to change things, that's right. Graham's brave enough to go against the family's traditions. He really wants to change things for the better. Yeah. Okay. Well, he seems like a nice guy. Okay. Well. History books. Yes. History books. Well, uh, there's two places that I'm thinking of. One's the City Hall, and the other is the... Uh, da -da -da -da. Well, there's the City Hall. There's a university library somewhere, is it there? That's right. Well, one of these two places, presumably. So, let's try the City Hall, shall we? Hmm. Lord of the Woods. Sounds familiar. Sounds like it's probably directly from one of Lovecraft's stories. I just can't remember which one. I don't know. <laughs> There's probably like a, a dozen references I'm not getting to the two or three that I am. Alright, yeah, I suppose before we leave, we should probably head back over here and give the guy some medicine, because I think something was given to me, right? Is he still over here? Yeah, apparently so. Me again. Hey, you can relax. Everything's been taken care of. The sack is yours. Oh, bless you, sir. My little ones will eat today because of you. Look, I talked to Carpenter about your situation. He said to come by whenever you've a need. He'll do right by your family. Really? I, I didn't know Mr. Carpenter was so generous. That family sure has changed. Thank you again, friend. Yeah, what were they like before, then? You said the Carpenters have changed. What were they like before? Uh, well, Don't mince your words. Hey, you can shoot straight with me. It's all right. We'll keep it between us. Probably. <laughs> but not worse. Criminals and murderers. Sounds about right. Rumors are their boss, Brutus, defiled several women and got away scot-free. Right. Oh, terrible. People call them a grand family. Their word is law in Oakmont, along with the Throgmortons and Blackwoods. Tread carefully with them. Okay. Duly noted. Anyway, I've got something for you. Hey, listen. I've got a surprise for you. A surprise? Okay. What is it? <laughs> I guess I can keep the medicine for myself. I'm not going to, though. Carpenter wanted me to give you this. Hey, bless him and his generosity. Please, send him my thanks. Okay. Right, so uh, I'm down a first aid kit, is that right? Uh, I'm sure I'll find one. Alright, you know what? Now I guess I could probably make one with all those supplies that I've gathered. There you go. <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah, to be honest, Brutus Carpenter, the real one, the, the one in the wheelchair, it seems like he's... Uh, I don't know, it's like he missed a part in The Sopranos or something. And for that reason, I kind of like him. So, I don't know how this is going to pan out, but right. Let's look into this church, shall we? So, City Hall. Or is it going to be... Well, let's, let's try the library first. I mean, we're looking for books, specifically. So, the library is probably where we want to go. Plus, I don't actually think I've been in there yet. Here we are. Yeah. 
That's some loud hammering you're doing. Right, are you reading it upside down as well? No, no, okay. You know why? Because you're normal. Unlike the imposter. Uh, hello? Hello. Welcome to Oakmont University Library. Joy Hayden, can I help? Uh, can Charles I help Reed, you? Private investigator. I've got some bolt cutters, probably. Uh, what the f... What? Yeah, I'm sorry, I can't ignore this. I apologize for my bluntness, but can I ask you a question? Can she answer? Mouth? Yeah. Punishment. Long story. Again, sorry for me being so direct, but that can't be legal, can it? This looks like... It looks like torture. Legal in Oakmont. Local custom. Huh. <sighs> lovely, lovely local customs. I need to see your book catalogs. Sure. Over there. And that's it? No payment, no threatening. No favors in return? No. Library public. Knowledge for everyone. Welcome. Well, that's music to my, uh, eyes. <laughs> How's it do- I probably shouldn't be asking her questions because I'm sure her answering is causing her great pain, but still. This city doesn't look like it has much need for books, except as fuel for fires. How come the library is in such good shape? Mr. Throgmorton. Funds. Keeps everything in check. Really? Huh. I wouldn't have thought that of him. I wonder why. He says people need hope, entertainment, escapism. Now more than ever, can't imagine library without his help. Okay. Bye. By the oh, way, did you know he turned his son into a fucking cake? Still can't get over that. Okay, so yeah, this place does have its own archive. That's great. Uh, again, there's a lot of evidence to go through. One of these. There we go. Okay, so find an old Oakmont church. So, again, slightly different. Periods. Um, when you say old, do you mean 17th, 19th century or ancient? Let's go with ancient. Yeah. Uh, region was local. Section? Religion or restricted? Probably religion. No, okay. Well, maybe it's not ancient. Maybe it's 17th, 19th? Aha! Prayers of the heavens. Another prominent Oakmont place of worship was the Redemption Church. Its flock venerated Kay as the Lord of the Woods, the Shepherd of Lost Lambs. Redemption Church was at one time the city's largest congregation, but its influence dwindled after St. Michael's Church of the Burning Bush was founded. Redemption Church still stands in Central Salvation Harbor on Marsh Avenue between Polaris Road and the old church road. Right, old church road. That makes sense. <laughs> okay, so let's see if we can find that on the map. Somewhere over here, yeah? Oh, wasn't it? Is this it? I think I'm focusing on it, to be honest. Between Polaris Road and Old Church Road. Marsh Avenue. It's here. That's where we're going. Right there. So, I think... We're going to head back to the Seven Oaks over there, and then head east. Alright, so this is it. This is this old church. Not ancient, but old. 17th to 19th century. This was the place to go. One up here. I wonder, can we read some of these gravestones? <laughs> Any witticisms here? No? No, too old for that, probably. I presume there is a door to this place. Here we are, right. Oh, it's locked up. Not for long! Really? Three swings? Am I hitting it? Well, the shards are coming off. Wow, what the... Wow. Okay, that was a really hard padlock to break. Anyway, here we are at the Redemption Church. And I'm fairly sure this is what I saw in that vision when I was uh, standing next to his son, right? something going on around here. Aha! 
statue is not a stat. The statue is a statue! Wow. Okay. What about that one? No, 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 that's, that's fake as well. Oh, man. Wait. Oh, God. Wait. Okay, we've got some hallucinations and we got some very legitimate threats. And, right. I've got a very legitimate shotgun. Right. <laughs> Just open the door. Okay. There's still stuff going on around here? Oh. Look at my sanity. I shouldn't be doing this. Oh, it's actually right down. Oh, fuck me. Right, okay. Yeah, I... N no, this isn't good. This isn't good. Perfect. Uh, and yeah, why not? Just in case. Right. So now we're seeing if water truly is. Goodness me. What's this? Hilda failed to seduce the mayor with promises of eternal life. Now we need some mercury spilled in his bedroom to make our proposals more... attractive. How fucking sinister. What ditty were they playing? I can't unfortunately read that. Oasis something? No. Wonderwall? Probably not. Upstairs? Let's go upstairs. Maybe, uh, yeah, with this. I'm not buying that statue for a second. And I know my sanity's gonna take a hit, but I think maybe it's worth it. It's blood too, right? Wow. Okay. Who's this meant to be? Friend of Dagon? Are we revisiting all of the uh, dark corners of the Earth ones? There's Dagon and Mother and, you know, the deep ones and stuff like that. Sure. Alright, well, there is a basement, it looks like. Slowly but surely, let's investigate. Seems okay. It, well... Damn. <laughs> I like when it was standing on one leg just to have a little look around. It's like a meerkat. Ooh, we got a dead body. Yeah. Well, more than one. But we've got a human dead body. He's got some keys. Something's chewed this one up real bad. Well, I think I just discovered what that was. Oh! More diving? We might be doing some more diving. Well, I don't know. Uh, maybe not yet. Make sure there's nothing around here that I've uh, yet to have a look at. Ah, here we go. More of that slime stuff. Ah, now that's a familiar smell. Like your dead skunk. Yeah, lovely. Okay, alright. Well, let's just take a look at that diving suit. Is it rusty? Is it broken? Ah, this is in good shape. Ah. I'm ready to use. Hmm. Yeah, I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that as well. Hang on a moment, where is that? Retrocognition, baby! We're going upstairs! Okay. Piece this together, what happened here? Right, so there's one here. Make sure you get every scrap. We don't want anyone reading these while we're down there. Okay, speaking of which... They go down to the basement. Take them to the crematorium. We'll destroy them before we dive. Right. So there's quite a few people here. Don't wait. I'll catch up to you. Oh, wow. That's a healthy supply of diving equipment they got there. Are they still down there? Huh. All right. Cool. Wait. Is that, are we done? Oh. Is there another event? Oh, there's another event uh, upstairs. 
At least one. I think it's just the one, actually. And there it is. The stars are aligned, and a new turn of the cycle begins. The time has come to return to the mother's womb, and we shall be reborn, brothers and sisters. Let's get a handle on what actually happened here. So is that mother? Maybe. Right, well, okay. Um... Yeah, that the one. The stars are aligned, and a new turn of the cycle begins. The time has come to return to the mother's womb and So they're taking their sure stuff down here. Scrap. We don't want anyone reading and these And before while we're down there. it seems they all go diving, they deal with the bodies. Take them to the crematorium. We'll Don't wait. I'll catch up to you. A group of fanatics based in the Redemption Church got rid of several bodies, took all the documents they could and dived. Right. <laughs> okay, Mind Palace. Let's do this. Let's figure this out. So, it's a cult, not a church. And the cultists hid under the church. Related? No. No. Ah, there we go. Right, so I need to find the records. Okay. Still can't do anything with that, but... Uh, from the church there, fathers and sons. The answers are underwater. So, next step, don the suit, go diving? Apparently so, okay! <laughs> I've been looking forward to going underwater again. <laughs> Isn't that the same sort of drop-off that you jumped off last time? You don't want to go down there. And maybe this time you don't want to, I don't know, ascend so fucking quickly? I don't know. Oh. Let the Lord of the Woods Azure Eyes guide you. And there's the symbol again. Right. Uh, I don't suppose diving's really changed too much, so we've still got the flare gun, the harpoon. Maybe this time we sort of hook ourselves in and get pulled up, or not? No, probably not. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> so the rock isn't a rock? It's not. Ah, are oh, the eyes. I get you. Alright, so we're going up there. Maybe a flare or two wouldn't go amiss right now. Righto, uh, up here? Can we get up here? Oh, we can, okay. Right, yeah. You can just about climb up and, yeah, when you're wearing the suit. Seems a little bit more awkward than above water, but okay. Just keep following the eyes, right? That's it, okay, climb up here. Uh huh, and again. Nice one. I imagine climbing, wearing a suit like that, must be a nightmare. Even if you are underwater, you still weigh a ton. Whoa! Hey! I didn't realize I was so close! Jeez, alright. Well, I think I've had my scare for the day. Well, there's another one. There's the next. Where we came from. Ah, over here? Yeah. Doesn't look good. Oh, yeah, of course. There's some normal lanterns as well, I suppose, if I get lost. Okay. Over here? Can I. Uh, you know what? No. I <laughs> Maybe let's just stay to the ground. That's not such a good idea after all. I don't know. This way? Yeah. 
Yeah, I probably don't want to go over there. That's probably really quite hot. Oh man, there's another one. I really hope they don't get aggressive, because I don't know if my harpoon's going to really be able to do anything. get to this one. Wow. Look at that. Another Hydra. That's pretty damn creepy. Whoa! Oh, shit. Okay. Fucking hell. Alright, hang on. I need to equalize the pressure and shit. Fucking hell. Alright, there's a little baby one that's getting a little bit aggressive. Okay, that's where we need to go. Where did it go? Where the fuck did it go? I'm just gonna hang here. Hopefully I don't get attacked from above. Oh shit! Keep it going, keep it going, right. <laughs> if I can just make my way to the light again. Wow, alright, well that's the first time I've actually been properly attacked underwater. Probably not the last time as well. Okay, here we are. So, did that actually change my health? I think it kind of did, actually, so... We've got supplies to make some more, right? Yeah, sure we do. We can make anything and everything. Uh, yeah, probably should be going around with this, because I think there's still some cultists down here alive, right? That's their diving gear, some of it anyway. There he is. Is he giving a sermon? I don't know if anyone's listening. Why are you here? You look like a fresh wound. Coming from you? Okay, sure. Yeah, back at you. Yeah, well, you're no oil painting yourself, fella. Imbecile. No use. You. Strike us down and many more will rise. Fresh from the feckin' mother's womb. Slick, naked, yet burgeoning with strength. Our eyes infest this city. Our hands, too. We fill young Graham with our words. And soon he will be hollow. Oh? You can... you control Graham? What was that about young Graham? His house is divided. It cannot stand. The young will secede the old, as new shoots rise from decay. Our growth shall choke the sun. The veins we open will seed crimson blossoms. The feckin' mother grants new life. You should have stayed above. Probably. Oh. What the f Oh man! Oh, okay, hang on, right. We got some problems here. We got some definite issues. Wow, okay, I actually took out the wrong guy there, but what the hell is this? Whoa, what was that? What are you spitting out at me? I don't know if the feckin' mother is Mother Hydra. Maybe it's another mother. Right, can we read? Okay, we <laughs> we can read this. Uh, yeah, we'll feed the daughter of the woods, so she devours the weak flesh. Yeah, shut Nigarath. Uh, a mortal man is allowed to touch the womb of the life. Aya, a mortal man is allowed to be reborn in a new form. Aya, a mortal man will gain a thousand faces, a thousand eyes, and a thousand vessels for his mind. There you go. I got the song of the horned woods. Fantastic. There's one for the collection. Ah, right. Oh damn. Police officer? Oh, it's them I can hear exploding. Ah. Wait. Oh, hold on. Is that a fresh one? Ah. Oh, 
Oh, that seemed to do something. Right, I see what we're doing here. We don't have to waste our ammo. Or at least not much of it. Are you going to do anything? I'm probably going to do something. Fuck. Uh, no, no. <laughs> don't bat it back. Throw it back. That was a terrible throw. I guess because I was sort of clipped. Shit. That's it. Damn. Should probably be a little better thrower. That's it. Ah, uh, let's see. Go on, yeah, yeah, drift down. Nice. <laughs> well, this is kind of fun. Go on. Big old lob. Didn't know. Oh, doesn't get anywhere near. <laughs> Caught it before it really touched the ground. Is it going to? Okay. Yep. Now is not the time. Bloody hell. I think every time I hurt it, it spawns some more things. And oh god, there's some more worshippers over here. Some more cultists. Probably should get away from them, actually. Okay, yeah. Obviously not the best shot at the moment, but right. As long as my throwing arm's good. Alright. And another one. Wow, that was a lot of experience, I guess. Right. Right. How is my sanity not rock fucking bottom right now? I mean, I guess I've just been here too long. I'm getting used to this shit. That's worrying. That's very worrying. Bethany? Well, someone who looks remarkably like Bethany. I thought I killed you. <laughs> Well, there you go. It's my second chance. My redemption. I'm not going to kill you this time, even though I probably should. Some more slime over here. Right, more supplies. I think I'm going to need them, actually. Oh, that's pretty cool. I, I, I don't know why, but I, I guess I wasn't expecting, like, boss fights in this game. Thus far, old Brutus has refused the gifts of the Lord of the Woods and the feckin' Mother. This is our chance to change Oakmont once and for all. Help Graham, the son, to get rid of his father, and all the streets of the city shall be open for us. If Graham refuses our wishes, you know what you have to do. Ah. Is that why he's so nice? Is he even himself at this point? I don't know. The church can control Graham. They could manipulate Graham. Mm-hmm, okay. Anything else? Yep, okay, he wants to take Brutus's place. Hmm. Graham will stand firm, or he's the cultist's puppet. Let's assume, for a moment, he's the cultist's puppet. So this all leads to this. Help Brutus. He may be cruel, but at least he won't be manipulated by the cult. Because I kind of like him as a character, I might do that, really. Might not be the most moral thing to do. The other way around. I should help Graham. The family will be in good hands with Graham. He'll change the city for the better, and be able to resist the cult. Will he, though? How about I kill them both, and I assign myself head of the family? Yeah. Unfortunately, that doesn't appear to be a thing. <laughs> um, a second chance for Brutus. I want to say that. Genuinely, just because I like the guy as a character. And if I had to choose, I think I want him to, uh, to stick around. Graham refuses our wishes, you know what you have to do. Okay, okay. There's the song. <laughs> Help Brutus. Help Brutus. Okay, well, I, you know, I think I know enough at this point, right? 
Ah, oh, now that's a familiar smell. Like you dead skunk. That looks like him. Do they all look like him? Got anything to eat? I'm... I'm hungry. And that's what the one in the manor said, the imposter. What you making, kid? <laughs> oh, I should probably throw a grenade up there and finish you all off. I, what the hell am I looking at here? Whoa. Hang on. It's too dark to really see, but I feel like I'm standing underneath a statue with... Is that... Are they hooves? What in the fuck? Oh, careful. Yeah, I can't really tell, unfortunately, but man, that looks cool. Right. Bethany? Uh, Brutuses? I think it's time for me to go. Child? Uh, do you have to inflate them all? Maybe just two of them would do. I... You're complaining? You, you did this before. You should know what's going to happen. You're a diver, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I suppose Graham... He might resist. Potentially. Let's not risk it. Kind of like the idea of having a crime family. Yeah. So <laughs> let's just keep things the way they are. And maybe get rid of that imposter Brutus. Right. Hello. Yeah, um... Let's not talk about the dead woman. I get it. I get it. I know who's behind the attempt on your life, Mr. Carpenter. And? Don't make me wait, kid. Time to end this. I don't really feel comfortable saying that when there's like four people who are all, as he calls them, hatchet men. Yeah. What will you do once you're back? Come on. First, I want to know what your plans are for when you resume as head of the family. Everything will go back to how it was before. Tradition exists for a reason, kid. Mm-hmm. Besides, it's none of your damn business. Perfect. That's actually the response I wanted from you. So, yeah, it was it was Graham. It was your son, Graham. He got mixed up with some kind of cult. They helped him to create your doubles. M my my son? You'd better be sure about this. I am. He paid for your cremation. I found this letter in the cultist's lair. There's no doubt it was him. Graham was in cahoots with these wackos? Mm-hmm. That's, that's hard to take in. I mean, we've had our differences, but this... I'm sorry, Mr. Carpenter. Like, I don't mean to be rude, but there's still the matter of smuggling my client out of Oakland. <laughs> right, I forgot why we were right. doing this. Uh, okay, kid, you've done well. I'll keep my end of the bargain. Good. Your man will leave the Borg tomorrow night. Tell him to be ready. Thank you. Okay, so now I just need to talk with Fred again. Is he still in the fish market area? <laughs> Is he still in the basement? I kind of hope so, because I wouldn't know where else he'd be. So, right. Wow, that... <laughs> that was like a long series of favours and stuff, just to just to get to here, wasn't it? Yeah, I genuinely had forgotten why I was doing this in the first place. But right. Back to the fish market. Yeah, we're heading east. And uh, hopefully Fred's around somewhere. I hope he wasn't lying. I hope he genuinely does know where Professor Harriet Doe is being held. Otherwise, well, I'll probably kill him, honestly. Fred? You around here, buddy? <laughs> yeah, he's probably still puffing on that same cigarette. It's done, Fred. The Carpenters will be getting in touch soon. Now, do you have something for me? Oh, perfect. All right, listen up. Okay. I've arranged a meeting with a certain high-ranking member of the EOD. His name is Ebeno Blackwood. Ah. That was the guy who was uh, sort of preaching upstairs, yeah? I, I know him. I met him. Blackwood, huh? Yeah, I may have run into him once or twice. If the Order knows something, it's a good bet that Ebeno does too. Right. If they have your professor, he knows where she's being kept. I'll give you the address of the meeting place. He'll be expecting me, not you. So keep your wits about you. Right, okay. Well, uh, good luck, I suppose. All right. Thanks, Fred. Good luck and safe travels. Thanks. I need it. Yeah, you probably do. 
So there you go, another case complete. And I've got a battle rifle! Great, fantastic! And another costume. Gangster. Love it. Oh, now that's the stuff. Okay, so we're moving on to, what was it called? Nosedive. Ebon Oak Blackwood, that's the guy. The meeting is to take place in Central Reed Heights in a flooded office on Sam Reed Street between Innsmouth Road and Oak Street. Well, let's have a look on the map, shall we? Sam Reed Street. There's Sam Reed Street between Innsmouth Road and Oak Street. Well, there's Oak Street. Right, well, somewhere around here then. Let's just put that there. Okay. I will be going to that area at some point. Maybe not in the next video, because we've been collecting some side cases that I actually want to get on with. So there's letters, which I'm inevitably going to do before, you know, the playthrough's over, but that's not top of the list. I think I want to go to field research and then maybe go to these crime scenes and then maybe deal with the bodies and then maybe attend the meeting. I don't know, but I think I'm going to get on with another side case next time. Anyway, that's another case done. So thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you back in the next one for the next case. See you then. <laughs> there it is, right in front of me. Ah, oh, here we go. Another wall that isn't a wall. <laughs> There's actually quite a disturbing amount of walls that aren't walls in this city. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, let's see. Smuggler's Hideout is there. <laughs> <laughs> they kept that a fucking secret, didn't they? Does your curiosity always beat out your courtesy? Usually, yeah. I'd have broken all your bones, fella, if Papa Brute hadn't put you off limits. All right, okay, calm down. Just calm down. No need for violence. Exactly, tell your friend that. Are we going to find anything in these? Probably not. I think at this point I'm just thinking of the evil within. Uh, I can't. <laughs> I say anything. <laughs> a little bit off-center there. Don't mind if I do. No, I can't. <laughs> well, sack of potatoes? Probably not. Says coal. <laughs> Don't want to make that mistake, really. What happened to the potatoes? <laughs> I need help from the other side, from beyond the veil. Oh, maybe. Oh, that's weird. That's weird as fuck, but okay, cool. <laughs> Save me some time. The city will meet a new, young Brutus Carpenter. Who's reading the paper upside down. Huh, okay. I had to take action to prevent starvation. Right, sorry about that. Well, this looks a little bit odd. Hello? Hello. Welcome to Oakmont University Library. The statue is not a stat. The statue is a statue! Whoa, hey! I didn't realize I was so close. Over here? Can I. Uh, you know what? No, I. <laughs> That's pretty damn creepy. Whoa! Should have stayed above. Probably. Oh. What the? F How is my sanity not rock fucking bottom right now? Bethany? Still, the matter of smuggling my client out of Oakland. <laughs> right. I forgot why we were right. doing this. 